Uh, the mini-apocalypse comprises the 13th chapter of the Gospel, and it opens with Jesus responding to one of his disciples admiring the, quote, wonderful stones and wonderful buildings of the temple. Jesus tells the disciple that the temple will be destroyed, quote, not one stone shall be left upon another. The scene then moves to the Mount of Olives, just opposite the temple, Mark tells us, uh, when Jesus was asked by several of the apostles privately about when these things, including without limitation, the destruction of the temple, were going to happen. Uh, the response, which goes on for about 32 verses or so, um, includes many of the elements that tend to appear in the Bible's apocalyptic literature, namely wars and rumors of wars, uh, persecution of believers, uh, various signs in the heavens, for example, the sun stops shining and the moon is darkened, stars fall, that sort of thing. Um, the whole thing culminates in Jesus returning, quote, with great power and glory, unquote, to gather up his people. Uh, there are lengthier versions of the mini-apocalypse mini uh, that appear in the 24th chapter of Matthew and the 21st chapter of Luke. My attention was especially drawn to Mark 13:30, which has Jesus saying, Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. The author of Matthew's Gospel has Jesus say the same thing in Matthew 24, 34, and it also appears in Luke 21, 32. Peace of Christ to all, and let us do the good work exposing those liars. Uh, and I call them liars, by the way, because he, the one who made the video, he just did answer himself. If we go and review the video again, we will see he is saying that this is about the great coming of Jesus again. All those, they are not talking about this timing. They are talking about the second coming of Jesus Christ. But he will try to convince you that the chapter 13 in Mark, verse number 30, is saying, this is generation. No, it is not this generation when Jesus he was with them. It's about his coming back. This is about the second coming of Christ. That generation, when all those things happen, that generation is going to be when he is going to come back with the glory. But the atheists, they have to play the game, to play with your mind. Don't ever, especially for the Christian, don't ever let an atheist quote a verse for you. The book is there. Open your book and read and you will see the answer is so clear. Let us go and show you how we can expose those liars. And by the way, I'm not calling them names. Because the dirty is dirty, the liar is liar, the honest is honest, and the good is good, and the bad is bad. Name things as it is, if you are a real Christian. Let us see the verses, and let us expose this liar. Mark 13 And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here? And Jesus answering, said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in divers places, and there shall be famines and troubles, these are the beginnings of sorrows. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten, and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. 
But when they shall lead you, and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye premeditate. But whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same, shall be saved. But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains, and let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein to take anything out of his house. And let him that is in the field not turn back again for to take up his garment. But woe to them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. And pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, for in those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this time, neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. And then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or lo, he is there, believe him not. For false Christs and false prophets shall rise, and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. But in those days after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when her branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, that this generation shall not pass, till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour, Knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house, and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. I mean, so as you see, this man who made this video, who have no respect to himself, he caught a verse trying to fool you, when the whole chapter is speaking clearly about the second coming of Christ. And he's saying when all those things he mentioned, the coming of false messiah, the coming of false uh, 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 prophets, even you will see in here he's saying, and the gospel must first published among all nations. So if there is one nation still don't have the gospel, it means this is still, we, we, we have period to go. And until now in Saudi Arabia, we cannot have one Bible printed there. So. There is many countries actually, but the Bible now is published almost everywhere, almost, but not everywhere yet. So the Lord is telling us about signs, and a very clear signs, that when those things all happened, the coming of false messiah, the coming of false prophets, wars, and when the stars start failing and the sun stop stop showing, and the, you know, and and darkness and and fear and and etc. When all those things happen. Then he go and he say to us in verse number 30, the one this atheist trying to play games with you, that this generation shall not pass. 
this generation, which generation? Generation who will be witnessing all those things which happened before for thousands of years. So that generation is going to be the one who witnessed the coming of the Christ, the second coming. And you will see that in the last few verses he's saying that even no one knows when that day is going to be but the Father. And then he will say, Last coming suddenly he find you sleeping, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. And I say to the atheist, watch, you will pay a very high price for your lies. Christ is Lord, and atheists are a bunch of fool. And this is how they are. Your foolishness or you're ignorant. Christ is Lord and follow